to spend part of your day with me. Our opening remarks are very straightforward. Security is about people, process, and technology. Security and technology executives hear this all the time. Um, if you are a security person, we couple the concept of people, process, and technology with the idea that we are also using those three items to produce confidentiality, integrity, and availability. The problem that we have is that most security people have no idea how to talk to business people. So we have brought business people into the room so that business, technology, and security executives can communicate, can collaborate, and share ideas because we're all working together to solve the same problems. All of our organizations face different types of risks, whether it's economic downturns, or it is the cyber actor out there, or if you believe Hollywood, there is somebody somewhere who is in a basement, who is wearing a hoodie, who cannot afford lights, and so all of the illumination is coming from their screen and or their keyboard, but that is not really the reality that we face. A lot of the cyber attacks that we deal with globally are from organized companies who are running during normal business hours to find ways into your computer systems, whether it is a direct attack or it is an indiscriminate attack that they unleash upon the world, all of us are subject to be affected by security problems, so it is valuable that everybody who is involved in this ecosystem comes to the table and has a conversation together rather than dividing things into silos. So you can consider me the silo buster because this is one of the few events in the world that brings so many professional backgrounds together, and I'm glad that you are here. If you missed our conversations yesterday, I am not beating you up and I'm not making you feel bad, but we did have great conversations yesterday about process. So again, I said security is about people, process, and technology, and this is not a technology event. I can recommend some great ones if that is your interest, but yesterday we spent a lot of time talking about pro process, and I kept my notes just to remind the audience of what we covered. So we talked about crisis communication, and we were blessed to have a TV producer and a person from the media tell us what they really care about when they're exploring a story. We talked about leveraging cybersecurity to protect and expand the value of any business, whether you're large, medium, or small. We had a great keynote presentation where I was the substitute keynote, but the room and I workshopped how to build a risk management program. So everybody participated, everybody was engaged in the discussion, and we solved the building a risk management program problem by all of us working together. And then we closed the afternoon by talking about cyber risk appetite. What you have in store today is an exploration of the people part of the process. So we've covered process, now we'll talk about people, and you can go hang out somewhere else to talk about the technology. But the benefit of people in that conversation is that people is another area where everybody can participate. You do not have to have a PhD in cybersecurity to talk about how valuable people are in your organization. You don't have to have gone to school for cybersecurity. You actually don't even have to know anything about technology for the non-technology people in the room to consider how valuable it is to have well-trained, well-equipped, well-resourced people who are gonna contribute to the success of your organization, whether those people are full-time employees or outside consultants, or the six students that I hired this summer, every person matters in the work that we're doing. It becomes important that everybody talks about what are we gonna do with the people that we have, where are we gonna find the people that are missing, and how are we going to equip them to contribute value to our organization. So today we are focused on people, and yesterday we opened the conference in prayer because it is an exercise of my faith background. Today, because we're focused on people, we are going to start by talking about how we can give to others. So one of the great lessons that I learned is that you always wanna highlight other charities or other organizations that are making the world a better place. And as my speakers come up, they know what order they're coming to the stage. I want you to open your hearts and your minds and consider how can you as a person contribute to the mission of these organizations that are gonna tell a great story about how they were founded, what they do, and why what they do matters. And knowing in advance that charities always depend upon the resources that people are willing to contribute, please keep in mind if you have the opportunity to do so, you are contributing to valuable organizations, whether you are online or you're here in the room with us. So without further ado, it is my pleasure to bring Victoria to the stage. She is gonna introduce herself because I don't read bios, and we will allow her 
to hide behind the podium so that she can just focus on telling a great story and not worry about anything else, else that's going on. Victoria, you have the floor.